Oh, this is lovely. Boo boots. This is so cute. The fact that that. This is cute. No, no. good morning and welcome back to another vlog it is tuesday it was bank holiday monday yesterday and i thought i would check in i didn't check in yesterday because if you watched the last weekly vlog you'll know we had a skip and we were filling the skip we had such a busy weekend and yesterday we just cleaned the house and just gave it a reset and um, i'm just running the straighteners over my hair purely because it's freshly washed and I, I'm going to treat it to a bit of heat because I don't put a lot of heat on my hair at all. Not even once a week do I usually bother. So I've got to treat myself today and um, straighten my hair. I was too lazy to fake tan last night and I'm annoyed about it um, because last night I was like, oh, I can't be bothered. But now I'm like, wish I had because I feel gross and my hands look like milk bottles so i'm gonna have to do that tonight i feel so thrown off that it's the start of the week yet i've got zumba tonight i feel so confused i it is not late but it's like 12 o'clock and maybe just after and at one i'm going for a coffee with my nan and her friend and her granddaughter which i'm so excited for um so i'm gonna do that um and I'm still waiting to plan my week out as such. I don't want to straighten the hoodie. Um, I haven't properly planned my week out yet. So I will let you know as we go. Um, but yes, I'm going to tan tonight. We're going to, I need to, we've got no food in the house. We need to shop. We're also going to book our baby moon this week. I don't know where to go. But apart from wanted to go to maybe like the Dominican but then I don't really think you leave the hotel in the Dominican that's what I've heard I have no idea I have no idea um but when I when I was in Mexico we met this family when I was in, I think it was the first time I ever went to Mexico I've been to Mexico about four times um I love Mexico but we um were talking to this family and they were like they were Canadian and they said their favorite ever um like hotel in the world was the hard rock in punta cana in the dominican and then when shannon mooney went for a holiday and obviously got engaged there it looked beautiful but then i'm like would we want to leave the hotel like that's why i like somewhere like dubai like you can sunbathe you can go for food you know there's like so many things that you can do there so i'm not quite sure what i'm gonna do and um, but then mel my manager was like what about hawaii and i was like oh, what about hawaii i don't know what i want to do um so i don't know what to do to be honest with you um i'm just about to find a fit so we're gonna yeah talk baby moons book a baby moon um i'm thinking next month because i am 18 weeks two days pregnant so if I was on my holly bobs, so I'm 18 weeks now, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So if I'm thinking like mid to the end of May, I'd be like 24 to 26 weeks pregnant. I feel like that would be a good amount of like, I'm not like a pregnant, not too pregnant. Then we might go to somewhere in June and then we, we're going to Scotland, to Edinburgh in July for the weekend so that's something to well we think it's the weekend we're not gonna we're not sure how long we're gonna go for yet but obviously i'll be quite heavily pregnant in july we're going for like the week before my birthday we're going we got managed to get tickets to the harry potter like it's like a one night harry potter like it the, i think it's at edinburgh castle and they're playing the film but also it's like an orchestra 
I don't know for certain, but it looked amazing. So I'm going to, we're going to that Dan bought it me for my, uh, and like he's going to take me there for my birthday. Um, and then, yes, so that is the current thoughts. I have finished the work I needed to finish this morning. I'm all up to date with work, which is really nice. And then I... I need to edit last week's weekly vlog. That's my main task for the week. Um, sorry, my earring is so freaking tough. Um, and then keep on top of the house. Um, and then I, what I've got to do this morning, I took dogs to a really beautiful walk, the sun's out. I, I think I showed you a little clip, had breakfast, well, I just had brunch. I had cheese on toast with tomatoes and I had some strawberries and a packet of salt and a good crisp because I had it at like quarter to 12. Um, so we need to find an outfit. This morning I literally put on this mixed with Drunk Elephant Glotion. Then I'm just going to put a little bit of concealer on my spot. But honestly, it made a gorgeous glow. So I was really, really impressed. Um with that and I just didn't well I didn't really want to make wear any makeup because of the state of me because I'm so pale what do I wear today I don't know everything I need to go shopping and just get some more stretchy comfy clothes um because I'm just feeling uncomfortable so I'm gonna do that I think me and Jodie may go shopping this week I'm waiting to hear back from her so we can have a POA but I'm gonna get changed um get changed and then we are gonna go to we're going to the garden center for a coffee so i will tty i need to leave in like 15 minutes good evening i look like a hot mess i it is six o'clock and i'm just gonna go get ready for some I'm really tired. Um, I had like a quarter of this left in the fridge, so I just drank out to try and pepper me off. I need to turn the heated blanket off because that is not helping. But uh, turn off. Um, we went for well, I had a smoothie. Um, but it was so busy in there because it's still half term, so it's really really noisy. Um, and then I got stuck in traffic for like forty minutes. And then I came back and I made some super noodles, which is there. And I, had, I went to have my orange, but icky. And then I've just been sat here since like quarter past four. Um, I'm now gonna yeah jump up. I'm just editing my TikTok. I'm just exporting it, ready to upload for work for tonight. Um, I'm gonna do that and. I'm ready for Zumba. I don't know what I'm going to wear. I'm going to, tomorrow we're going to Stafford. I've got to pick up an order from Nick. So I'm going to go to Stafford, pop to Primark and H&M, so I'll take you with me. And then Sat, I'm going to take Sue with me. And then Saturday, uh, it was Saturday. And then Thursday, I've got to go to Bentley Bridge in the morning, which is, there's a Tim Hortons there, because I'm working with Tim Hortons again. So um, I'm going there in the morning, and then I might go over to Birmingham. And then Friday, I've got my midwife appointment for my 16 week, even though we're 19 weeks Sunday. Because I couldn't do last, not last week, the week before, I couldn't do that um, when I would have been around 16, 17 weeks. So, yeah. And then, that's my plan. So, I will talk to you when I'm ready for Zumba. We haven't planned anything for tea either. So we might get McDonald's and then plan our food for the rest of the week. I don't know. Last night I made a roast on Monday and then on Sunday night we had... What did I make? I made hot dogs. So, yes, I'm, we're probably going to have a takeaway tonight. Okay, I'll get a McDonald's on the way home from Zumba. So I'll take my other camera with me. I'll try and remember. Um, because I need to figure out how to take you in the car, my new one. But this is boring. So, it's 6 o'clock. I'll leave here at like 
past for half past. So I'm gonna go and get ready. Good morning, girlies. I'm just heading out. I'm gonna go and get my order from next. I'm just gonna have my vitamins and I've got this new tracksuit on from and I love their stuff. I really, really like it. Oh no, I'm out of vitamins. I need to go to boots. Hello, baby boy. I love you. Um but yeah, I'm going to pick up my nan. I'm gonna to go to Stafford. And oh, I'll just do it for it myself. I tried to vlog yesterday on over camera. And I think it's broke, which is brilliant. So I feel like it's been like, okay, we've well got a new camera, like fuck off. I've got water. Um so yeah, that's not good. But I'm gonna take the dogs with me to my nan's. Oh no, I love you. Um, so they can stay with bells. I'm gonna brush my teeth and I'm gonna get out of here, but I just wanted to show you the fit. Okay guys, so I've got an iced vanilla and we've got some toast uh, with some butter and my nan just got a plain latte. She's not the most adventurous when it comes to coffee, but they did the toast absolutely perfect in my opinion. What a slay. Um, so yeah, we're going to have that and then we're going to pick up the order and possibly go to um, H&M so I'll let you know if we go. I need some tops that aren't going to ruin fill this. Yeah, nice. I want something because a lot of my tops, because now they're a bit tighter, they're riding up. And I don't want, you know, I don't no. want the whole belly out. Hello, we're in Taco Bell, we're eating again. And I got some tenders and chips, and my nan got the seven layer burrito and chips. What do you think? Nice. Very nice. I don't want to get copyrighted, but I bought it because she um, likes like Mexican food and Taco Bell's chips are something. Elsa so good. It took me 40 minutes to get over in Lenny's yesterday. 40 minutes. It was like driving to Birmingham. That's why I It was bad. Um, so, yes. And now we are going to Denial for baby hangers. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Go. Again, again. Bless go. you. Yeah, that's done. That's done. Um, and then we are going to go to... Wicks, and we're gonna ha have a quick pop in DFS because I put on my story good places for sofas, and loads of people said DFS like loads and loads, and yeah, that was everything. Um, I yeah, that's everything, isn't it? And then we're gonna also go into a, a supermarket, we don't know which one, and get something for tea. We're gonna make the crispy potato salad, and we're gonna put some crispy chicken in there too. Um, so yeah, that's our that's our POA um, so I will let you know when we're in Dunelm and I think that's everything goodbye so let's get 
free, four packs. Yeah. How many is in there? Only ten. Oh. I'll have to carry these for you. It's a nice set. Isn't it? Yeah, and I like the nice and pots. In your city! One step to the right. We like this one by Dan until it's not comfy. Not as comfy as Winston. This is the, what's this one called, darling? What's it called, babe? This one. Lorella. Oh, it's so cheap, the sofas, I'm shocked. Let's have a seat. Oh. Not as comfy as the one, but nice. Comfy or not? This is Orca and... I prefer, I like, don't mind this one. Um, House Beauty. Oh no, it's pink. I know it's too big, but that is beautiful. Wow. Oh, Dan, it's comfy as well. Two grand for how big that is. It's fucking stunning. Okay, we're now sat on Win Libby. Nice, but Winston's the best. Dan's gonna see this sofa's four grand. Is it worth four grand? Is it? It's absolutely massive. Is it comfy? Really? Really? Oh, that's lovely. It's so deep. Oh, I could just sleep here, could you? How stunning is this, Dan? Nice? Great posture. <laughs> Go and sit on that and tell me what you think. No, not that comfy. No, Winston. That's a nice chair. Okay. Oh yeah. Nice. This is plush chaise and sofa. I can't. You can't even see. Down too hard though. I'm expecting to be really cushioned. That's oh, this is lovely. <laughs> We already need to answer any questions for you. Right. I think I'll just stay here, you're alright. Let's work on making some rugs. Yeah, we're alright. Do we get a discount? <laughs> we don't give rugs, we have 50% off. It's a nice table as well, actually. I can imagine me and Dean enjoying this. I love that. that you, hair and bone on the I don't think that I'd get off. That's what I'm real about this. I don't think that's so bad for a grand at all. Just depends. Yeah, can you have different colours? Check it out. 30 colours. 30? 30 colours. What do you reckon, Bean? Would you like it on this? Okay, in the sofa we're still sat on, this is sensual. Oh, what is it? It's, it's called stone. Stone, really nice. What door handles? Where are we here? There's no door handles. Guess what? Guess what? What? We just bought a sofa. <laughs> Yay! We went to DFS, not on the whim, but loads, I've got my story, like I said, and loads of people recommended. So we went and we found a fucking comfortable looking so well, comfortable feeling sofa rather. And it was so comfy it and we got it on the last day of the sale. I'm shocked it was even in Right, that's done with now, mate. Let me just shift. All gone, Baba. Oh yeah. I um was shocked it's even in the sale, but he said there was only, it's only in the sale because they had um oh I got a knife. Because they were doing what something with the screws. No. That's very potato. No, it was it was the spring sale. But Yeah, but he said you... that was only in there because they DFS had a sale with the screws or something. <laughs> I've had to deal with this all afternoon. I don't know what to do. 
I this, feel like a drunk. I'm so tired. This is what I've had to deal with. We were in DFS for an hour and a half because <laughs> fucking Blubbermouth over here doesn't shut the fuck up. No, don't act like I was talking their ear off. Didn't they like me? Absolutely, they loved you. They loved you talking. I, I, I thought, you know, I've been here fucking an hour and a half, mate. Shut up. So, where did you go on holiday last year? Tesla. Shut up. Women, you women. Don't be jealous because you're fucking boring. I'm not, I just want to get in, get out, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, anyway, we have got our sofa. It's the DFS. <laughs> what does Vicky say on. I'm really sure what this is. I could talk the back legs off. No, that's not her. That's Chloe. I could talk the back legs off and up. That's fucking you, then. What was Vicky's? Great question. I can't remember. Vicky? Marnie's was, I've got real boobs, real hair. I'm a natural beauty. Yeah, I'm creamed perfection. Is that Gaz? No. Scott, is it? No. If you think the squat, was it? Come on. I can't think. I feel drunk. Nathan. Ugh. What? I know that was so lovely. I thought he was fucking brilliant. I know, but is he creamed to perfection? Yeah, the skin was unbelievable to be fair to them. Um, anyway. We bought us. <laughs> um, we wanted the big one, but it, we could have fit it, but you wouldn't, you'd have had to jump over the side to get it. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't have had a whole You'd way. have had to do this, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> to get into the house. We would not have had a whole way. Um, so, we got, a, yeah, we got the new stone for anyway, um, for the 95th time, and we got it in the colour stone, the plush one from DFS, and we got the smaller chaise. And we got it left handed. Yeah. Um, like we said, there was, I think you said, was it 250, 300? Yeah, you saved 250 on, on the sofa. On that one. Um, and it's literally the, oh my god, look at the dogs. <laughs> oh, they're sat like absolute angel, I need to show you. I'm, I'm sorry, but look at that. I fucking love them animals so much. You good boys. You're so cute. Rolly! And Rory. No, Rolly's coming. <laughs> oh my god, it's boys! You're so cute! Um, and yeah, so honestly, how comfortable is the sofa? Yeah, it's so like, because we hate our sofa. It's beautiful, but it's so uncomfortable, isn't it? So And uncomfortable. you can't literally fit us on. But this will fit us, the baby, the two dogs on. Yeah. We saw this one on there and it was like, Three grand, but it was so comfortable and it was so like, deep, wasn't it? But it was so big, like there was no way we could fit that in our house. We need a mansion. It was like the bit that you sit it was on like was this. the width of a single bed. Like, it, like we could have slept on that easy. Like it'd have been so comfortable too. Yeah, it'd have been a joke. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah I can't wait. it's going to take six weeks to come, unfortunately, but that's okay. It is what it is. Um, we are gonna sell as, um, and no one fucking sits on it and I, it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, literally, like, we, we hardly sit downstairs. It's, so, it's horrible, it's so uncomfortable. Like when people come and they're like, they just look uncomfortable. Yeah, like, no one says, no one says <laughs> what a lovely, comfy sofa. Because it's not. We, when we go to Sue's, oh. her one in the conservatory, it's like, how old and are I you? Think like, both. 15 years old, 10, 15 years old. No, that one's no. Well, the one in the conservatory? Yeah, she got that last year. She got both herself sofa last year. She Did really, she? Well, she really one, splashed out. The one in the conservatory? Yeah. I thought that was... No, that, that was one. Dog one. No, that was grey as well, that's why. But they're both just so comfortable. Oh! This one's like grey chenille, chenille, whereas the other <laughs> one was chenille. <laughs> the other one was grey. The other one grey. The other one was grey. Um, yeah. Shut up, man. Um, so, yes. Has anyone seen me pass? <laughs> <laughs> um. 
Yeah, so it, we were in the, we were there a while, but it, it was. Hour and a half. <laughs> but it was it, worth it, and we love it. And like, we sat on the sofa while he sold us the sofa, and like I was so comfortable with you. Like that made it a lot better. It did make. Do you know what? People that work in sofa shops, they've got. That ain't a bad little job, I don't think. Because that you just get to sit down when you feel like it. Like, oh, I'll just try this one. It yeah. was, but the, but genuinely, the staff and uh, if DFS can work. Oh, no, you know, no pay partnership here. Absolutely lovely. So not the, the sales people, like the the sales reps in there, were stunning. All absolutely lovely. So we're gonna give them a brilliant, brilliant review. They were, and like they didn't pester you, which is the biggest thing. Like they let us. We sat on British every sofa we like. And not one of them not came one, up to us. One person said hello. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. They just let you go in there. So relaxed, so friendly, nice vibe in there. You didn't I feel really like you had to buy anything. But I don't feel like they feel like they have to sell it yet. Yeah. Like, I yeah. feel like they think like the sofas will sell, sell it, or, sofa. you know. Yeah. Look at this customer review. Yeah, but it's honest. DFS, you're doing you're doing the good things. People have recommended it for a reason. Yeah. And, but we did not like, two hundred pound cheaper to not get the um the like fo- the phone phone, phone, phone stuff, but, yeah. I just thought it is lazy that what but if we can't just yeah. plump it. Yeah. Put yeah, them in there if you want. It's a hundred quid. Hundred quid. It's a lot of money. It's hundred and fifty quid just to in not to do this at night. <laughs> Wasn't it? Yeah. Just to give them a good plump. Yeah, it's a lot of money for like just to plump it. Just to plump it, so it's yeah. So we're gonna try and keep it in it. And we've got the insurance which was only 155 for five years of accidental cover and, and like that she they were saying because obviously we said about being pregnant and they said um that like you'll be surprised how many people's waters break when they're pregnant on the sofa and then they just get called out to like the um the repair people just go out like don't you think that is literally mental <clears throat> it's mad sorry i should have talked about um but it's good that like it is everything's covered like scratches and they don't care like you could literally give birth on there and they you come could repair shit it. you could shit on it and someone's coming out to repair it for because they said like baby fluids and stuff like we'll do it all up we won't even ask like you can say it's an unidentified source yeah. and they'll come and do it which is so good and for like for 150 quid for five years worth of cover um, just spraying there. Oh, are you having a shower? Not going out, are you? <laughs> I'm letting you out now. I'm out. Okay. I'm going out, babe. Can I have some money? Can I have some money? Yeah. Ask for you would. You Don't start rumours because when people <laughs> people will actually go along with this. Do I ever ask you for money? Yeah, I'm feeding their fire. Yeah, or They're I? fake fire. Literally. I don't ask for money, guys. She does. No, do you know what? I do ask money for Zumba. I yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm yet to go to Zumba, but I've paid for every class. No, just men have cash normally more than women, naturally, like for haircuts and stuff. Do you know what I mean? It's like usually you have... <laughs> for haircuts? No, but do you know what I mean? Like you'll have like change and the odd bit of cash lying yeah. around. Whereas like I never have cash. Unless it's like in a card or something. Yeah, you are queen of contactless. I am. I'm just the queen, really. Um, we're going to try this thing with our potato peel. And we're going to um, have it as a snack later. And apparently what you should do, wash them, which we have, and then drizzle them in olive oil, season them with salt, garlic, paprika, and then put them in the air for 10 minutes and then make up like crisps so we'll try and let you know i'll show you what i got today before i get in the shower so two things for baby these are both from next are you fucking joking look how cute this is how cute imagine her with little leggings on socks and hugs adorable i don't know if it's got a code um this is what it says. I got it in three to six months. And then I don't know what's cute out. They're both actually adorable, aren't they? This is so cute. The fact that that's for a three to six months. 
I know. And I, I love that it's got the mittens, but look at the feet, guys. Look at those feet. She's going to look so cute in that. Oh, so exciting. Um, and then from H&M. H&M We've got... These joggers, I've got them in the large. Here's the code. They're only, I don't know how much they were, 12 99 I can't think. 12 99 And they're just like wide leg joggers. As I said, I'm trying to get things that are a bit bigger, more comfy. They're going to stretch around the waist. Don't know if they're going to fit. Obviously, I'll try them on. And then I've got these two tops because I thought they were really nice quality. They were 9.99 each and I got this, it's like a high neck t-shirt, got them both in a medium, here's the code. And just a t-shirt like this, really stretchy, I need to get like a nice nude bra but I don't know my size, I'm going to have to get measured in marks or something. And then I got a white because just stretchy, comfy, long line. So that is my haul, um, this evening's plans are Arsenal are on in a couple of hours. We're gonna make crispy potato salad for dinner. Um, and that is all. I've got some watermelon, some yogurt, some Arctic coffee. Please put those in the bin for me. And that's it. So I'm gonna, if I possibly pick you up in a bit, I bought some baby hangers from Dunham. So I might pop when I'm waiting for dinner, pop and put hang some of my bits up. So if so, I'll do that with you. But other than that, I've got a spot to pop and I am going. Good morning from us. We came to Tim's because I'm working with them and we also bought some breakfast and they were so kind. They gave us some donuts and tidbits on the house, which was so sweet. Did they give us a coffee each? Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. I know, we've literally got, we've sorted out properly. We got some a Philadelphia bagel I got. struggling today. I've got a boot hole for you. Okay, I'm just gonna sit down. Let me move you down. Okay, first thing I got. This was on sale for four pound fifty. How cute is that? It's got the little mittens and coloured little poppers, one to three months. So I got this. It was on like a fifty percent offer. Um. I picked this up because I'm starting to get stretch marks. I cheated in the bin. There's no crisps in there. Just stretch marks. This is the massage cream instead of the lotion. Rolo, stop it, please. Right, go away. Come on. Don't go out the bin, please. Come on. No. And then this, it was a different packet of the bio oil. I don't know what the difference is though, I'm so confused. Cause it's in like a different color and the other one was like the original one and the color's a bit different. And it says bio oil, skincare oil, natural, specialist, scare and sh specialist scar and stretch mark product. Excuse me. Got that. And then I got a lift liner and then I got some bits downstairs which I'll show you that's still in the bag. I got NYX in London. But oh I also got this. 
super dewy liquid blush from revolution in the color blushing in love um it looks really pretty looks a gorgeous color so yes that's what i got and then i'll show you what i got downstairs um i haven't hung any of the baby stuff up yet i need to do that but like i said i'm feeling absolutely shattered i'm gonna to tan tonight me and dan are both feeling really tired so i'm gonna hang some stuff up maybe tomorrow i'm thinking to go and eat a bird and gum tomorrow i'm doing a bit of shopping so i'll take you with me if so um and yeah i've got a bath running i've put some epsom salt in so let's get our pajamas together and go for a nice I just don't feel very good today. I don't know why. Well, um, a good boy. Did you have a nice walk? Good boy. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to check in and say that's why I haven't really. We went to Tim Hortons this morning because I had to do it as a job and then come back i went to boots and then we had the washing machine man here and then we walked the dogs and now we're here it's like half four or five i haven't really done anything too crazy but yeah just super 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 super, super, super tired um so let's go have a bath i've got literally no fake tan on a little bit stuck to my ankle which i'm going to scrub off but apart from that i'm good to go with a clean bag so i'm going to take my moisturizers I'm gonna moisturise the shit out of myself and then tan in a bit and then we can change the sheets tomorrow. I've got my midwife appointment in the morning and yeah I'm thinking of asking my nan if she wouldn't mind having the dogs and possibly going to Birmingham tomorrow. Um so I will let you know. Okay. I'm just running my bath and what I put in it I'll show you. Mm, it's so, so, so good. Hang on, I just want to put a candle on. I don't know if I'm smelling the time for my bath now. Not the cutest colour, but I really like the smell of this one. These and we're on clearance, Epsom salts with lavender, um, and they smell insane. They smell so good. If you keep them in my way, chill pills, pot, I refill them with that, and then I use this for my bath. And then the bath products, I'm gonna, I don't need to shave, I don't think. I'm gonna shave my armpits. I could do a little tickle actually. So I'm gonna use this as my face wash. Along with I'm running out, but my Elemis. I don't know where the logo is. And then I've got this as a body scrub. The dove one. And I've got my is it skinny? Bondi Sand Exfoliate Mate. Love this. Um, I'm going to use this as my body wash um, to shave with. I've got my Estrid razor, and then I've also got my Femme Fresh. And then, because nothing major needs shaving, I won't be bothered to use a foam. But usually, when I shave, I use one of my Sunday shower foams. Um, and yeah, let's show you what the rest of what I got from Boots. We also just went and picked something up for tea. This is Boo Boots. What else I got from Boots was honestly the Epsom salts, some more pregnancy vitamins, and then this wasn't from Boots, this was from Coco and Eve because they had a £10 sale. And um, every, literally everything was £10, so it comes to like £30. I got the whipped body cream in light tune dragon fruit, and then I got the matching shower gels. 
and these smell like actual this one smells like the uh, black, the purple starburst and this smells like just like the nicest mango smoothie you've ever smelled so that was my haul um we also got some stuff for dinner we're just gonna have a really easy dinner we literally got some sausages broccoli and we've got some peas and then we've got some spinach and ricotta pasta um, and then we've got tomato and mascarpone sauce so we're literally gonna have that with some cheese on i've got a little card for joe but obviously and i haven't seen her because unfortunately sash passed up pa pa sasha um joe's dog let me move you down passed away yesterday um, and she was 17 and I've known Sash since she was so I met her like 14 years ago in like 2009 so we're in 2024 so I met her in like 2009 2010 and she is just an angel so she's had the most beautiful life and it's just so sad though so Joe's been taking some time to um, just grieve and stuff like that because she was such a big part of their life and it makes me sad because Rolo like she really welcomed Rolo in like she was used to lit Rolo and it's just gonna make me so sad when Rolo looks for her because Raw really likes Frankie um so rest in peace Ash and um, she's a beautiful angel um so yeah so I haven't been able to see her to give her an engagement card yet but I'm also gonna get some flowers because obviously she's sad about Sashi Boo um so yeah I dread the day of losing a pet like that because um, I've never really lost one. My We lost my nan and granddad's dog when I, but I was young. He was called Ty. He was a big German, sh German shepherd like Nanny Glennis's dog. And my granddad was still alive. But that was quite a few years ago, like 2012, 11, 10. Like, I was young. Whereas like, Darcy Pebbles and Rue are still alive and they're kind of like my family dogs. And like, because they live in Somerset, whereas like now it'd be like Rory and Row, and like I just can't imagine them never being here. Like I'm so grateful for them. Um, dogs weren't the world a better place. So yeah, I am gonna jump in the bath and have some tea, and we'll talk tanning later. Hold me to that. <laughs> but I'm gonna go and jump in the bath because I feel egg exhausted. I could honestly just fall asleep. Pregnancy tiredness is nothing else, and I'm so glad. I just feel like I look and feel unwell, and I keep getting cramps in my tummy. I saw this thing that like, welcome to week 18, and basically, um, week 18 is like a lot of growings going on, and um, she, like my uterus and stuff, is just moving a lot at the moment. So yeah, and like it, oh, it feels really hard here and like yeah like you literally can't squish at all but yeah so um that is the update when i've got some time i'll be a bit more confident i'll do a proper bump update but i just fucking feel gross at the moment so yes and my nails are gross i didn't go to my appointment last week so i'm like Ugh. can't wait to get them done on monday and i need to check what time my appointment is on friday but if any of you got any um like favorite like clothes i'm not necessarily bothered about shopping maternity but more so like like another version like brands that have like really stretchy clothes more is what i'm after um i just need to put myself in for a haircut Bye bye <laughs> good morning i just chopped my finger in the top one me that's so much um let me just pull you on a bit i have just got ready i didn't fake tan last night, I think I look tanned, it's fake, um, literally fake but not fake tan, <laughs> um, I just couldn't be bothered, I was knackered last night, I was falling asleep at half past seven, so I did not tan, but I just put some instant tan on my face and hands, and I'm just gonna face and neck and hide my hands, um, I've got on my Boohoo trench coat, and then my another version, thingy, this is what we're looking like, it feels so hard, apparently like she's like here, under your belly button here like an inch under and it feels rock hard um so that's the bump looking like um got that on she's got leggings and my mustard seed bugs and then i've got my 
coach bag. Um, Jodie wants to come with me to the appointment, so she'll be over at some point. I'm just gonna write her engagement card. <gasps> what time? Oh my god, I need to pay the um, council tax. Ah, council tax stresses me out. Let's do that. I need a wee. I don't know whether I'll need another one before 10 o'clock. Um, payments. Pay someone. Can it change? Cancel. Absolute rats. Where's the payment details? On your engagement. Congratulations. Um, I need a pen. I'm starving. We're going for brunch after and I'm so hungry. I feel a bit sick. Okay. Two. Hello. We're at the appointment. Um, it was pointless. Um, I will tell you a bit later, but I'll tell you in the car what window, window box cafe. Really nice. So, so nice. come here last year. I'll tell you when it. There's the sign. Um, yeah, we came for a bit of brunch. I'm so hungry. Yeah. No, we're here. Yeah. I ordered a bacon sandwich. I think it was like halloumi sticks on top of running sandwiches. Oh wait, is this it? It was the special. Yeah. It's got a joke, but. And then we got a smoothie. A smoothie, a mango juice, and did you get a nice coffee? Yeah. We've got a nice coffee, which I'm really excited about. Um, but yeah. Nothing exciting really going on, we're just we've just been chatting really um, okay. But yeah, we're just waiting for a coffee. I feel like I feel a bit more alive from my coffee you know. Um I've got until then. I'll let you know. <laughs> Mine looks really nice, really yeah. happy. <laughs> Excited? Yeah. Can't see. This is cute. This is a nice jacket. It is one second, 29.99. These are cute linen trousers. These are cool, but I don't know if they'd suit pregnancy. Unsure on this. Little Rita's debut. Hello, good evening. I'm just gonna do my skincare and look and probably, yeah, I feel and look like an absolute tramp. I, the dogs are just about to start playing, so just ignore that. Can you play in the other room, please, boys? Um, I'm just going to put on the glow hub. Um, oh, the palace is getting to me. I just need to tan really, but I might do it. I might rot in it tomorrow day, to be honest. I might, like, have a very chill day. I go back up and tan tomorrow day. But I feel like today, I just don't know where it's been been and gone um so we this morning i went to my midwife appointment let's talk about it so what happened was um it was pointless she literally did my um blood pressure did my carbon monoxide um and then that was it. It was literally pointless. Like, she had, like, do you have any questions? And I was like, well, what questions? Do you know what I mean? Like, what questions should I have? Like, I don't really have any. Um, and then, like, it was just like, well, this is what we're going to do at the 24-week appointment. And I was like, well, I can't, oh, I just want my husband to wait until 24 weeks. Like, it was just silly and, like, they were really late. So it was just, like, waiting for nothing. Um to be honest with you, like, it was pun. It's like, I thought, thank God I didn't drag Daniel out of work for that. Because I thought, what a waste of his time. I would prefer to be. Huh? I would prefer it. Oh, I know that. He's had a bad diet, guys. Let's not talk about it. Um, 
but he well like like uh, some partners were there like i took the jode with me but thank god like he didn't waste his money like a day off to come to that appointment with me because it was honestly pointless um personally she was like well we don't listen to the heartbeat or 24 weeks um or we don't measure your bump um so yeah, and I was like, right, so like, what do you do at this point? And she was like, nothing really. And I was like, right, okay. So yeah, I mean, if you had any concerns, but then like they give you a midwife's like non-emergency number anyway. So I'm like, if I'd have had any questions, surely I could just do that. So honestly, it just seemed a little bit pointless. But then when I was talking to Dan about it at Nando's, he said, do you think it's because I didn't know this even like till I was like... <sighs> I don't know when, when I was pregnant, but you get, when you're 24 weeks pregnant, you're something called like, it's vitability week. And it basically means that if something, God forbid, was to happen with your baby, that there's a, like, there's much more chance of them surviving outside the womb. So you'd be able to have, like, they'd help you. Like, there's like, if you're before 24 weeks, they don't necessarily, I don't know the ins and outs, so please correct me if I'm wrong, this is just what I'm assuming or I think that they don't, look, they will help you get that baby out and like, because there's high chances of it surviving, I think, I don't actually know, um, so yeah, so that was the, I don't know who he's talking to, he's talking to, what, he must have got some, what have they got? Is it mine? Let me see. Am I going to be annoyed? Oh, he's not got that. Rolo. Rolo. What have you got? I'm trying to make sure they don't touch this. It's Bean's elephant with her heartbeat that I don't want them ruining. Is it okay? Have you got your sister's elephant? It's a lovely wet neck. Oh, that is mummy's. Look at the video I've just sent you. How sad. Did you hurt her? <laughs> Rolo, did you hurt this little baby elephant? It's your sister's. Did you? Can you come here? Not, not very good. Come here. Come here. Poor elephant. What a shame. <laughs> we don't play with this, boys. It's mummies and little babies. Okay? Poor little elephant. So, yeah. Um, what was I on about? Oh. 20, oh yeah, 24 weeks, and I will be 24 weeks in, I don't know, I'm 19 weeks on Sunday, so I don't really know, but that's how, um, it's some point in June, no, not June, May, um, and then, yeah, so we went to that, and then me and Jodie went for brunch, where I checked in with you, um, so nothing to report on the 16 week appointment, there's nothing up there for you, you little bugger. Um, and then what else? We, yeah, we did that. And then, like, honestly, like, Jode wasn't really herself, which, obviously, she's just lost Sash. So, it, there wasn't really, like, much to vlog. Like, I didn't want to... Like, I knew she didn't really feel like talking. So, yes. And then... We... I got home at, like, half one, and then I texted my nan literally the minute I got in, and I was like do we want to walk the dogs and she was like I'm on the shawl now and I was like right so 
I went and met my nan um, and went for a big dog walk, which was like an hour. And then what else? And then honestly, that was pretty much it. I then just worked this afternoon and then Dan got home and he'd had a bad day, bless him. So we went over to Tamworth and went to Nando's and then we went to, we went to Primark and HM because I want a swimsuit for tomorrow and um, because I want to go swimming. I want to start going swimming every weekend when Dan goes to the gym and they were like all like granny pants, like I thought Primark was really disappointing. We went to the one in Tamworth and like Tamworth isn't the best one anyway, I don't think. Um, but it was just not good. It was awful to be honest. Um, so yes, we did that and then we've not long got back, had a shower, um, seen to the doggies. You okay, Rose? Um, and now I'm gonna have a scroll on PST and Boohoo, so I will tell you what I order, I'll take you in with me. I'm gonna my laptop's next there, so I'm gonna go and get that, get some water, get a glass of milk. And shit, I haven't posted my YouTube video. Aha! Dan's just sent me a video. Really? What have you got? Huh? What have you got? I don't know what he's doing with his camera. That's not yours, is it? That's not yours. <laughs> what are you doing with that? <laughs> I'm going to post my... Um, youtube video because i've got a team in hall to post and then that is it so let's post that and then let's get shopping i really want to go to birmingham so remember we'll go next week i keep saying that but i think mel might be coming to birmingham next week so if so we'll meet her and i'll do a bit of shopping but i'm just going to post my ad because gonna be in trouble if I don't um but I thought I would tell you um I thought I would tell you the um tell you what was I gonna say about the appointment and then oh sofa recommendations too obviously we went for the one at DFS um which I'm really excited about but I'll tell you the recommendations in case anyone's interested because I said I would. Let me just let me just post this video. Give me two seconds. Who the hell are you talking about? It better not be me. Yeah, tomorrow let's marinate in tan. We're gonna do some bits around the house. We've got a massive list, but obviously we painted last week. And then did loads of stuff in the garden. I'll ask Dan. Dan! Don't know whether he's... He can't hear me. I can hear his video. But we're going to try and get some stuff done for the house. Which I'm excited about. I'm going to put a spot patch on this little bad boy. I wonder how long it will take for it to um, post. Is that the right word? Post. Um, I wonder how long it will take. I'm talking absolute foreign, aren't I? Hang on a minute. My recommendations for the sofa were... I got mine from Sofa Club. Just bought the DFS Orca Shays Corner in Velvet. So comfy. ALB, which is all loved brands on Insta, Sofa, Sofa Club are awful, look nice but don't last more than 12 months, go for DFS or SCS, Sofa Club, my next Michigan corner, DFS, Ikea sofas are great, next sofas are more comfy, Sofology, Majestic, Marble Arch, Sofology, Sofa, Sofa Club, or Honeypot Furniture, Lorenza from DFS, m &S, Sammy Sweet from SCS, Sophology, DFS, 
NCF in Great Bar. I think that's near us. Oak Furniture Land, the Melbourne Sofa, Sofa Club. Sofas look nice and a good price, but they don't last. DFS Calyx, Dusk, um, Modular Sofa from Oak Furniture Land, Sofology, Roseland Furniture, Sofology, Furniture Village, DFS Orca again, DFS is insane, Sofa Club, S Sofa Club, IKEA, Oak Furniture Land, Chiswick Sofa from Sofa Club. DFS, Sofa Club, Sofa Club, Malvern from Oak Furniture Land, Furniture Village, Not Sofa Club as is really uncomfortable, Sofology, DFS, Sofa Club, Sofa Club, DFS, Chelsea Sofa, Dunelm, Sofa Club, DFS Orca again, Sofology, DFS Bampton, Corner Sofa, Sofa and Friends, DFS Divine, Stokers Furniture, Chelsea Sofa from Sofa Club, Avoid Sofa Club, DFS, Sofa Club, <laughs> Sofa Club, Ikea, Basement Marketplace, Next, DFS, Next, Sofa, Sofa, Next, DFS, 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 Dusk, Dusk, DFS, 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 okay, so mix, mix between Sofa Club but a lot was DFS and I would say what we did last time was went for aesthetic over comfort and this sofa is beautiful, don't get me wrong, like I really like our new sofa that we're going to have but we 100% went for comfort over aesthetic, like and that's what's more important to me, like you're right, what do you want? You're right, Baba. Um, I would honestly say that the um aesthetic doesn't matter. I liked things to look nice, and this sofa does look nice. But I'm more bothered about me being comfortable, my baby being comfortable, me and Dan being comfortable on like because we don't enjoy sitting downstairs. Like, do you ever sit down downstairs? No, because I hate it. It's so uncomfortable. So, yeah. Um, let's go. Let's go and go and get a drink, and then let's have a look on POT, and I'll show you my basket before I check out. You'll be knitting because we're going to get Snelly from downstairs. I've put his toy on the radio because I was sick on it. Right, let's go. Kiwi, happy Saturday. I'm just about to bake that. Whoa. Gosh, that was scary. I'm just about to bake that. We have all the dogs, had lunch, had breakfast, uh, went to Sainsbury's and that's it really. But I'm just going to fake tan because I want to tan <laughs> and then I want to marinate in it today. Um, so I'm just going to stick a little bit of moisturiser on and then I can wash it off later tonight. I'm just going to moisturise with the cocoa butter. Um, I usually let it settle in a little bit longer, but I lathered myself in moisturiser last night. Um, I used coconut oil, oil oil, moisturiser on top, like I did the full hog. So my skin's feeling pretty soft, so my hands are freezing on my cold body. Um, but yeah, I just want to change my bed and stuff today. And like Dan's downstairs starting to clean the cupboards. E. So we're going to do just a bit more around the house and stuff like that so yes i'll show you what tans i'm gonna use i'm just gonna i think that's it really elbows armpits i feel like we're all good a little bit on the neck i don't like to moisturize the neck too much because i feel like tan struggles anyway to stick to it once there we're all good here i'm gonna use the I'm also going to put a bit of tan on my face. I've just moisturised my face. I'm going to do my skincare properly tonight, so we'll do that together. I'm going to mix filter and body spot express today. I'm just going to move my bag out of the way. And then I've just got this random brush and my tanologist mix. 
he's an Arsenal fan. I don't quite know why he's shouting for Crystal Palace like that. It must be to do with where they're in the league or some sort of boring shit. But I'm going to use the Central Pack Serum. I really, really like this. I think it gives the most natural glow ever on my face, personally. Never grows patchy, never like clings to like dry face it places. And then I've always wanted to try the mist. And then it's a very chintz, well, like you just didn't see what's talking about it in their vlog. So I think when this runs out, because I got this on sale from Sainsbury's when I got it, it's the bronzing glow boosting vitamin. Ah, my clothes clips fell out. It's the Glow Boost in Vitamin C and D Bronzing Water Serum. So that's add a bit of a glow for my face tonight to catch up with my neck. And then let's go in with the big boys. Um, which hand will I rub on? I haven't used the Baddest Bod one for a little while. I'm running out of tan to be honest, so I probably should have used one with a bit more. Tan in. I haven't got a mirror. My boobs look so weird. I've never seen them look so weird. Like pregnancy is mental. And do you know what? I've had a couple of skin tags since I've been pregnant. Like on my neck and stuff, like just little ones. And I think go away. <laughs> no one invited you here. I haven't been this pale in so long. I've also just had a massive POT parcel. So I just had a massive parcel from Freedom On. And then I've had, I, I didn't show you what I ordered last night because I just thought we could just do a massive haul. Parcel! Yeah, yeah. Kaya the label! <laughs> I think so. Um, and so I just thought we could just do a massive POT haul. I spent like 300 and something pound on clothes last night there's a couple of swimsuits in there i was gonna go swimming today but i'm literally I, I just don't have the confidence when i'm this pale i know it sounds silly but i'm just being honest like i just don't feel brilliant um so i'm gonna tan and i'm gonna go tomorrow night and i've got a lot of editing to do for you guys so i'm gonna do that instead and i also ordered a tracksuit off kyle the label which is there um last night so Yes, we've got big fat hauls in a second to do. Just making sure no one's licking their willy in the background for you because no one wants to see that. It's so nice to have, feel brown bronzed again. I never wear it in the day, but I think I'm going to start doing it and just stop ruining my sheets, to be honest with you. I really want to invest in some more MS bedding, but it's just like bringing myself to spend over £100 on it. Like, it's worth it because of the comfort, but like, I wouldn't like even bat an eyelid about spending £100 on clothes, like, I wouldn't. But like, bedding, I'm like, oh, <laughs> I don't know why. But yeah, I feel like I'm just boring, and you guys have seen me tan so much. But I'm going to do this um, and then put my. I've got a dirt, not, they're not dirty, but like I've had a pair of pyjamas that I've worn for a couple of nights. So I'm going to uh, chuck them on because they need washing, strip the bed. And then, um, and then I will, sorry, I'm going to keep the pair of pants on because I like to have a tan line. Um, I, and then I will, we'll clean out the cupboards together. Like I said, Dan's already started. And then we can just spend our Saturday evening together. We're gonna make, which we'll, I'll we'll do together with you, because it's because like we ate out last night, so I was like, let's make something in the house tonight. We're gonna make. I saw this on TikTok. Um, no, my mum sent it me, and it was like this burrito thing, and it was um, you like cut a wrap or a pita in in like four, and you put meat like a beef burger on one bit cheese lettuce chips gherkins like you you do it all like that um and then you wrap it up and like grill it or like fry it and it looked so yummy oh my god i've got some right long hairs on my leg <laughs> you so yeah 
I'm sorry, but there's just no, no better feeling than a tanning. We're also going to book our baby moon. So, um, we're, we're not sure where to go. We're thinking Cyprus, because we've both never been, or maybe like we were thinking about the dominican but i said to dan like resort holidays will be really fun we've been because like i don't know i kind of want to go on a holiday where we don't go all inclusive we like eat out at different places and stuff because like this will be our last holiday well not our last holiday just us um, but like, you know, we'll be going on more family holidays and stuff. So I was like, let's go somewhere like we can eat dinner in complete peace and like explore. We even like go shopping to Zara and like, it doesn't matter if there's a screaming baby, you know? So I think we're going to go somewhere like, I would really like to go to Ibiza just cause I've never been, but we're not going to go to Ibiza because, um, it's not going to be warm enough in May and I'd like to go one, one in June to be honest as well but I'm just gonna see um because it's like asking for dog care and stuff like twice so we'll see if it, so we'll see if we're able to um and yeah so I will let you know where we end up booking but we're gonna go next month um I did think about somewhere like Hawaii or something but I don't know enough about it because I was speaking to my manager about where I should go because she's like a bit of a travel a travel girly like she's been on a lot of holly bobs so we're not sure so if you have any recommendations i mean i don't know if it'll be booked by the time you see this you'll see it in a few days i think so let me know what you guys think um of where we should go we were thinking like to Victoria, but joan said it's quite windy because obviously her mum's a i always say a state agent she's not an estate agent she's a travel agent um and she, I think she, her mum must have said, I don't know, I think they've been to Fletcher, I'm not sure. I don't know if she's been with her nan, I can't remember. Um, so I don't know whether we, um, we don't know whether to go to Cyprus. I've always wanted to go to like Lanzarote and Tenerife, I don't know why. But I just always have. I've been to Lanzarote when I was like younger, but most. But then I am obsessed with Greece. Like all my family holidays when I was younger were mainly to Greece, um, and I don't know. I just really fancy. Like I'd never been to Santorini. Like I've been to Corfu, Rhodes, Cassiope. Where else have I been? Halkidiki in Greece. Like I've been to quite a lot of places to Greece. Like I've been. I've been really lucky and gone like quite a few times so I'm like do we go to like Santorini or I don't know I don't know it's so hard isn't it because I feel spoilt for choice which is such an amazing position you know like such a blessing it's like where do we go on holiday like there's so many gorgeous places around but it's just like where do we go on holiday like, I feel like overwhelmed with the choice um so I'm not sure, I'll let you know. Oh, and yeah, Cyprus said it was like 30 degrees in May. I don't know, we watched um, the film Love Rat and that is what made us want to go to Cyprus. Um, it just looked really, really nice, um, to be honest with you. I will let you know where we end up going. I'm gonna do another layer of tan and then I am gonna Hop, sip, skip and jump downstairs. So, feel a bit up. Look, here he is, my little kitchen organiser and his little friend, Roly. He's already done this couple of... Hello. Let me show you. Okay, that looks good, Dan. I think you smashed that, babes. Well done, pork stuff. Sorry guys, but you're gonna have to listen to Crystal Palace. But this is the colour of the tan. I've also put it on my face, but that will obviously go later. So out of these, this is, is this matcha? I don't know. I, this is matcha moo. I'm gonna get some more matcha. And then this was green pad, this can go. Where's your bin? Just there. Put that in the corner. Can you pass me the um, spray? Okay. Here you go. Oh. 
Why didn't come out? Why isn't it? It's gonna spoon, so you can. Yeah. Oh, shut that in a second. We're gonna clean our cupboard down. You think we're really need to feed you, we're not. Is that, I don't know, put the washing the socks. I'm gonna pull out this cupboard. It, I had it when I first moved in. Did you? Yeah, I'm gonna clean out this cupboard, guys. You're gonna have to listen to Crystal Palette so I won't keep the sound on. Um, I don't like that. No, don't be silly. I'll put you in the cupboard and you can. This is our disgusting cupboard, so just don't judge. Oh, yeah. This is not a good cupboard. This is our junk cupboard, isn't it? Yeah. So, we all have one, don't pretend you yeah, don't. Don't pretend we don't. Okay? You can't really see because the cupboard door, guys, but. Can we set the cupboard door up? No, 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 you're fine. Yeah. No, honestly, it's fine. I'm... It literally clips off. You don't have to do that. Yeah. Dedicated to the content, look at him. Just clips off like that. Just clips off. Now you've got full view. <laughs> so, these are link rollers which we'll keep. What's this? What's that? They're the um... Are they the lights from under the kitchen? Should yeah. we keep them out and do them? Yeah, I'll put them on. We did put two on and we actually really, really like them, didn't they need we? charge them now. Oh, do they? Yeah. We'll get them off and charge them. There's nothing coming on. We've got some saline nasal spray from my nose poorly, so we'll keep that. <clears throat> some throat Is it spray. In depth? Just check it. 20, end of, uh, end of next year. Oh, okay. Till December. And the throat spray. When do you reckon this is in Dactyl Rose? 2026, the throat spray. Is it? We've got some Beecham's. 2025. You don't need tablets because you're really healthy. Well, we've got some paracetamol. Tablets last so long, don't they? Yeah. Christmas cookies for festive treating. We never gave you these treats. I forgot we had them. Oh, they are in date till 2026. Probably fine then. But why is that? Are they sort of full of preservatives? I don't know. Should I not give them? It says they're chicken and duck. Yeah, Did, is that what we got from the... The um, chicken doesn't last five years, does it? Is that what we got from the dog shop, though? The raw dog shop? Yeah, the cook it. Just throw them in the bin, just in case. Yeah. Chicken shouldn't last five years, should it? <laughs> right, I don't often do painting, so that could go in the bin. <laughs> I saw that the other day in like, the near market. Half day. empty sun cream. Not using sun cream anymore ever again. No, we need to find like a good natural one. Idea. A pregnancy test. Wonder if this will be positive, bro. What do you reckon? Is it going to be positive or negative? I think that can go in the bin now, can't it? Well, they are expensive. How long does it last? Save it for the next child. <laughs> it lasts. Well, it depends. Would we use it again before 2026? Mm. Possibly. How long will piece of string? <laughs> No rumours, we'll just keep it just in case. Because they're expensive. Batteries. These are such a scum. Um, scum. What's the word? Scum. Yeah, con. Um, throat lozenges. Don't you think? They don't work, do they? They just, they just taste nice. And well, even drink. that, I don't know if they do taste nice. I'm going to have one now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, why not? <laughs> they're fun to fuck on. Oh, there's this here. This is in dot date. What is it? Eardrops. That's our first one we bought. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. Is that the one from the vets? Yeah. Should we use it then? We'll it, it again, it's in date till 2025. We'll use it while we've got it. For your big ease. Is this just a bin bag?
I'm still changing, but I just made myself the bubble tea. And I thought we could write together. Mm. I think that I keep from being it. That is so good. I recommend because you don't put the tea bag in though. You can add it if you like a bit of tea, but I'm more just for the, the syrup. Um, but that is so good. Here, here is the little packet. looking tidy but it's changed they wouldn't get up and I feel bad so I'll tidy it when they're off but we've got fresh sheets ready to get in when my tan is washed off I don't want to get my ankles on the um, on the bed hang on because it's fresh white and the tan will transfer let's put it on my blankie I want to take all the quilts and um, stuff to the laundrette and like get them all like to have a spring clean. It's really windy so I'm sorry if you can hear the wind and obviously it ignores the state of me. Not the normally normal setting for a big haul but it is what it is. So let's open, let's do POT first then I just got one tracksuit from Kaya the Label. So we'll start with the smallest bag. I'm not going to try anything on because Obviously I'm marinating in my fake tan. PLT had some cute bits. Really cute bits. Okay. First things, this is the maternity white basic long sleeve fitted top and I got this in a 14. Normally I'm a 10 to 12 on top but I just, what I'm finding is tops are like wide enough where my belly's starting to stick out. So I don't know whether I needed to size up or like it will be good too as I get bigger. Um, oh this feels so soft, I'm hoping it's not going to be like too thin um, that nipples are poking out but this one's long sleeved. We'll see what it looks like. I want to get like a nice nude bra. It looks a little bit big if anything, but we'll try it on. It might literally be fine on, I have no idea. But this feels really nice and soft and comfortable. So I'm excited to see how that fits over the bump. Let's put things back nicely. And then here, is this a swimsuit? Yes, this is a ruched waist high leg plunge swimsuit, it's not a maternity one, they didn't do much maternity swimsuits on there but they did have some on Boohoo so I'm going to have a look on there tonight. It looks a little bit wide for me but we'll see, I don't, that looks quite big. Very, very rarely he does that, but he does do it. Let's sit up a second. No idea how this is gonna fit, it just looks a little bit big for me, but and like that looks very long. I've no idea, but we'll we'll try it on. I've no idea how that is gonna fit me. 
I don't know where I put the packaging. So this is the grey ruche. If you want any links, just tell me because I know I won't remember to do it. And then this is part of a set. This is the Petrol Contour Sculpt Long Sleeve Top. And I really like the Contour Sculpt. But I got this in tall, aka hoping it's going to be longer to cover the bum. Normally, like, I do not get tall things because I am not a tall girl. But this is much longer and it will cover the bump. But I thought this would be a nice colour to have a set because this feels like... Doesn't feel exactly like another version, but it feels similar to that vibe, like soft, comfy, and stretchy. Because I don't know, it has more of like a gym wear feel to it, um, and it's fine. I think I'd need like a lot of my I don't know leggings are in the medium because I don't know it's just really really stretchy, um, and because the large had a lot of excess material, so I didn't ever get the. Um, I don't want to buy a large just for the sake of one I'm pregnant. I mean, I might need one after. I have no idea. No idea. But this was a set. Um, I'll wait till I find the other set to this. This is another swimsuit. I don't know why, but I feel like I've had this swimsuit before. Whether I didn't like it, I have no idea. This is the Shape Stone Animal Print Rouge Side High Rise Swimsuit. Again, I just want something. This isn't necessarily for holiday. This is just like while I'm... Go and have a drink, All right? Come on, up you get. Come and have a drink. Oh. Go and have a drink, darling. Go and have a drink. Yeah. Go and have a drink, sweetheart. Oh, we'll collapse. Need a big drink. But yeah, I'll try all these on and I'll let you know how I get on, how they fit. Um, this is a cupboard, so I'm going to wait. This is a blazer and this is a cupboard, so I'll wait till they're partners. Right? This is a textured oversized drop shoulder blazer in light pink. And I just thought it was pretty, not necessarily a maternity item. I just liked the copper pink. I don't know what I'd... It's like a thin, more like woolly. That there's no silica there, I'm going to drop it laser looks like so i've no idea how that's gonna fit but i thought it was really cute here's a close up like maybe with like a white jumpsuit or with some like i want to try and get some like maternity jeans or maybe like a legging set or joggers a white blazer pink bag that sort of vibe for the medium bag that's the leggings to the set okay this is maternity black contour sculpt cami strap jumpsuit got it in 14 i think jumpsuits and stuff is just going to be comfy for my body it looks like literally like a vest top but inside it's got like almost like a built-in little roof for your boobs and it just goes down into black leggings so we'll see how that fits hopefully it's going to fit fine around the body and be comfy but it feels just like legged soft like like if you've ever felt contour sculpt it's like soft stretchy not slinky like it's like not cotton and then i saw grace gibbons in this set if you guys know who that is but i'm gonna leave this door again until i get its matching friend out so this is a cardigan and maternity trousers and i'm really excited I thought with the white long sleeve top that I showed you, like the model just looked so pretty in it. They stopped, I think they've stopped putting silica gel in there, which is nice for the doggies. Oh, these feel gorgeous quality. I feel like these will fit nice. I'm hoping they're not going to be too 
long and they're just going to a gorgeous they're really nice quality thick white leg trays i'll let you know how they fit and if you could get away with them non maternity i mean i feel like i don't massively look pregnant as such yet i feel like you'd be like mm, is she just you know got some timber on her i don't know and then with it is a matching cardigan It just looks like a really nice set in my opinion. Like I would have worn this not pregnant. Um, and it's just like a really cute cardigan. And I thought it'd just be a nice set with some like trainers, some Uggs. I thought it'd go really nice with my new Sambas. And it feels amazing quality. Like that is such good quality from BLT. I love BLT, but I do think sometimes you can get something and be like, what the hell is that? But other times I'm like, as if this is BLT, you know? This is the leggings to the um, first top I showed you, the sculpt contour, and I got them in a petrol blue 14. Okay, I didn't size up, but only again, they're really, really stretchy. I mean, if I don't think they're gonna stretch for long, I'll just size up, it's literally no big deal. And they do, in the contour sculpt, I'm sure they go up to like the whole way, like and the whole way down. This is what they look like. I just thought it was a nice colour. It'd be nice with like a denim jacket or like a nice like biker jacket or a cardigan or I don't know. Oh, that was goodness, wasn't it? I can't wait to wash my pan off. I feel so grubby. Um, okay, the big bag. Where do we start? Blue set. This is, doesn't know if it's picking up the same blue, but this is again a contour sculpt. But this is blue sculpt high waist leggings. Again, got in a 14. Let's see how it feels. So it feels a little bit more jimmy, but soft and straight, like a bit more adenary, but not as, I don't know if I like the, oh, you can have them like that. But this does feel stretchy. Again, just a blue legging. I'm hoping it's not going to be like, you know, sometimes light colours, when you stretch them out, they go see through. And then the matching top. Feels really nice quality. This is a short sleeve one. Yeah. Blue long sleeve top. Again in 14. Then this is a oatmeal wide rib textured knit maxi skirt. I got this in a large and it is a skirt and it go just goes into this knit like so and then it comes with i'll try and remember to try these on tomorrow if not i'll do it next week's week as well but i will try them on it comes with a cardigan just like so and there's like there's really like a little bit of belly in between but i'm thinking nice pants and gold hoops like hair in a bun or curly like shopping day like comfy not going to be too restricting on the bum okay next this is a black high rise black high rise ruche size swimsuit so i think it'll be very similar to the animal one but just plain black so we'll see how she fits. And then the green set, this is beautiful. Like I said, I saw Grace Gibbons in it and I thought for holiday or for summer, um, this would look amazing. So it's like this and it's got ribbony, it's like a really nice cotton material. I'm gonna try and not ruin this. And then it comes with matching trousers and she looked beautiful in it. Like I was like, wow, she looks gorgeous. I love the colour too. 
and it comes with these um, woven wide leg trousers and they have like a drawstring and I thought I could wear these with just like a white top in like spring summer if they fit I don't know whether I, I got these in a 14 I don't know if I should have got them in a bigger size but we'll see I don't know how long they're gonna be or anything but this is them they've got pockets and everything so I'm intrigued to see how they fit and then my arm broken this is another swimsuit this is oh no this is a short sleeve top a black maternity soft touch sculpt sculpt short sleeve top I got it in a 12 I think it's because it was the only size they had but because it's maternity it's going to be bigger around the tummy anyway so just got a plain black t-shirt a bit of a staple again I thought it would really go really nicely with this set and then we've got a maternity navy soft touch under the bump flared yoga pants in 14 oh my god they're the softest things I've ever had wibbly wow they're gonna be fucking comfy I think they're just like oh, soft they're just gonna cling to you but they're so soft I think these are gonna be the most comfy trousers ever and I just thought with the white top maybe I'll wear these tomorrow so I'll let you know oh, I don't know. and then this is a red contour sculpt zip jumpsuit and I like the burgundy colour I'd like a cap with like the this colour on it and this is a long sleeve zip jumpsuit and it just goes all the way down into leggings and I got it in a 14 so I'll let you know again I don't I don't mind ribbed but I'm not obsessed with the ribbed fabric anymore so I, a lot of the jumpsuits are ribbed so to find them in the sport brand I was like oh I'll try those because I really like the leggings and the last two items I got were the same as the brown cardboard that I already showed you guys um, with the trousers and cardigan. This is exactly the same, but you guys know I love a stripe. So, again, trousers, beautiful quality. And I thought this would be stunning on holiday, be stunning in summer, spring. You could like change what you wore with this. You could go under the bump, over the bump. You could wear them however you wanted. And then we'll open the, I've had a really massive package from Freedom Mom and Free, yeah, Freedom Mom, Freedom Baby, Freedom Mom, whatever. Um, so we can open that too. And then just a gorgeous cardigan. So I'm so excited to try those on. I think they can be really lovely. Like you know when you just want to dress up but you still want to be comfortable, like look like you've made more of an effort. So that is my big PLT order. Let me just put these on the floor. And then kind of the label. I bought this off their website, not off TikTok shop. I found a code and it saved me a decent amount of money. But again, I don't know why I'm really liking the burgundy. So I've got a grey. A grey oversized hoodie. That looks so nice. Just has burgundy kaya on it. I really like kaya the label quality. I've always said this. I've had quite a few things from them now. And then the joggers. They're just like, they're not, they don't have a drawstring, is the only thing, but it just has Kaya there. And they're just a nice grey pair of cuffed joggers. And then I'm going to just go and open the. I'm just going to take a photo of the Frida stuff that I kind of got gifted and then we'll open it together. I just want to take a picture of it to say thank you. I'm so excited, look. So, they sent it with a little bow. I feel so excited about this because this is everything people recommend. So this is the Frida Mom Postpartum Catch All Pads. Ultra Flow Protection with six layers. Leak proof side barriers, full front to back coverage, 
um, designed to catch all blood clots, bladder leaks and everything in between that comes one to two weeks post baby arrival after a vaginal or c-section delivery made without fragrance chlorine and dye and there's like layers to them and then let's open i want to look to see if they sell this for you guys so it says on the back after the partum is the after party kick that hospital bag packing list to the curb this is a one-step prep kit that takes you from first contraction to first postpartum bathroom trip no hospital fever required this is what it says on the back and the front i'm so excited because so i can't believe they've sent this like what the hell, which I feel like, I don't know, <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm hoping they sell this, which I'm assuming they do, which I will um, have a look for you guys in a second. I'm feel nervous. Oh, it tells you what to do. when it goes down okay so in here is freedom mom labor and delivery socks no slip grip contraction counting comfort they, these feel these feel bougie they feel thick you know like when a sock's spongy and they've got grips this is what they look like and then in here oh this is a one size gown Take a little clip these off. Because freedom, I bet every, this is the thing, everything adds up. Oh, so this is just like a big fat dress that does all the way at the back. Oh my god, it's so soft. You can un just pop down for nursing or if you're hot. That is so good. It's got pockets. I'm definitely taking this to the hospital with me. Oh my god, it buttons the whole way down. It's just like one big comfy t-shirt dress with pockets. And it also has buttons and um, press studs everywhere. So if you're um, breastfeeding and stuff, you can just pop them open. Oh my god, I feel so nervous but excited. Oh my god, wow. It comes with a full on Frida feet. I'm definitely taking this to the hospital. Okay, in here is mm, perineal healing foam, cooling pain relief from vag to touche. So it's witch hazel, helps relieve the local itch and discomfort in the perineal area. Which is Frida Mom, this one. I don't know if you can see because it's so bright. But it's called perineal healing foam let's put that back and then in here as well freedom on perineal cooling pad liners full coverage medicated vag pads which for hazel there's 24 in there and it's the ultimate one liner which hazel pads liners deliver front to back cooling relief in a single sheet no harsh chemicals dyes or fragrances And then this is the Perry bottle. Trust us, your vagina will thank you. It says on the top, and it comes in like a washable bag, which is so good. And this is the Perry bottle. I just can't believe this is happening. It feels so real when things like this are in your possession. The only thing I'm going to get on top of this is like some sips for the bath, some spritz for bits. And then in here are oh four regular boy short briefs slip into something a little more disposable. Oh, they've done them so nicely. I feel bad. I will never be able to get them like that. But they are are they just big fat? They are so good. They are going to be incredible for postpartum. Look at this. That is amazing. This is so kind. What the hell? 
I feel so lucky. I would have had, like, I'm so lucky because I would have had to buy all of this. And I was going to buy all of it. I was going to buy the full shebang. Like, I've been looking at all the postpartum stuff. I'm so, so grateful for this. What the hell? Honestly, this is the best job ever. And I've only got you guys to be grateful for. So, please never think I'm not grateful for you. I'm so, so grateful. Anyone that watches my videos. I'm struggling to get them back in. But that's what's in the Frida bag. I think if I did... I think I would have just found this and bought this regardless. It seems so much more, like, put together. And then in here... Oh, it's them pads, Freedom Mom Instant Cold Therapy Absorbent Pad in one. Basically a double date for your vagina. Instant ice maxi pads combine instant cold therapy and maximum absorbency in a single disposable pad. So magically, you'll feel like a vagison. <laughs> Eliminate a layer to simplify your recovery routine because the last thing you need to do after nine and a half months is more junk in your trunk. So while the pad is still in the sleeve, fold it in half, top to bottom until you hear a popping sound. Shake slightly to commence the cooling and then you tear open and remove pad. You peel off a paper strip to reveal adhesive and place onto your underwear. Whoa, that's sick. And there's, they put four of those in there. Let's have a Google and see, see what we can find then. I'm assuming they sell this. That is the literal, kit of dreams like i don't think i would not get this like that like, no matter how expensive it was i think i'd just buy this so the gown the socks i'm gonna have a look at free the baby as well um i've heard that's really really good so that's what's in the kit girlies thought it would be more expensive than this so that is 89.99 i thought it would be more than that i genuinely did i'd happily pay that i mean i'm so grateful i've been sent it but yeah everything you get in there is 8.99 89.99 for the full lot I mean, if you can find it cheaper, do it. But I'm, I just think I would have got this for the convenience. And then I think I'm... And they also do smaller ones too. They do a C-section recovery kit. I don't know how it differs. Um, but this one is for vaginal and um, recovery. And then they do a cheaper one, by the way, guys, which is just a postpartum recovery kit that has the pads, the healing stuff, the disposable boxes and the wipes. Um, no peri bottle. And then I also want to look at the uh, mom to be Essentials Ultimate, this one, from my expert midwife. I want to look at these products too. So yes, I am so excited about that. That is amazing. Thank you so much, Freedom Mom. I am gassed and I am absolutely fucking buzzing about that because every little helps. And yeah, so there you go, guys. Now you know... I never know, why has no one got, like, why have I never seen this before, like, why is nobody recommending, that is incredible, um, absolute slay, so, yes, and then I don't know how much the postpartum pads are, um, but that is everything, so I am going to do some editing now, I need to hurry up and get on with some editing, um, well done he's out and then he's going to pick me up we're going to get stuff for tea and then we're going to come back here and um, he's going to watch arsenal we'll cook tea and then i'm going to wash my tan off about nine ish in about five hours um and yeah so i'll speak to you in a bit i'm vlogging on my phone but we're really good we're really enjoying aren't we That's 
Not for the room. Excited. Not a dick. Fried onions. Meanwhile, burgers were grilling. Chips were in the air fryer. Gherkins. So you just cut one little corner of the wrap like this, like right in the middle at the bottom, just as a slit. Oh, so look at this. You see that? There's just a little flap here. Um, <laughs> so I've got cheese in one corner, gherkins, ketchup and mustard, onions, and then you've got a burger on top of the cheese, three chips, like four or five, not many. We've got like a few extra chips to have on the side. And then you fold it, and then you literally like heat some oil in a pan, and then it like sticks together like a burrito, and it's good. You enjoyed it, that? Have burger sauce, or you could have mayo, could have a chicken burger. Mm -hmm. A breaded chicken burger would be nice in it too. Mm -hmm. And have like mayo and lettuce and garlic rather than like go, um, ketchup, must, um, should I mean? You know what I'm talking about. I'm sure I'm struggling with my words. Thanks for me. Good evening. I have just got out of the shower. It is quarter past eight. Not as dark as I'd like, but I always find that when I wear it in the day, it's never as dark. But maybe that's not a bad thing. I have no idea. So, skincare. My skin is feeling quite dry, so I don't really do much, but I'm going to put the scar layer on still. I just rubbed coconut oil all over my body so I'm also gonna I should have done this first but I'm just gonna spray the hyaluronic acid in two got her somewhere stuck um my face has also developed a little bit too she rubbed me down a bit and then I'm gonna go in with the Aveeno Time and restore. And then to lock it all in, my classic set of fill. And then I'm going to put some eye cream on. I usually only do eye cream once a day in the morning. I don't normally do it at night. I don't know whether I should do it both. I don't really know. And then one of these has a bit of castor oil. Yeah. Just gonna run that through the brows and lashes. And then Dad's just making us a digest tea and we're gonna chill in bed. I'm just gonna put some of the Fenty. <laughs> My hands are too wet. On my lippies. And then I'm going to put some body oil and then some stretch marks on my body. I'm going to go to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning. Happy Sunday, everybody. Um, we are just... We are just going to start dinner. Um, we went to Tesco this morning. Honestly, I thought it was quite spenny. Um, we didn't do a weekly shop or anything. It came to like 60 something pound. But I've just got some Yorkshire puddings, watermelon. I've got some leeks for the dinner. I've got us a pot of joy to share. 
I got three packs, three packs, three packs of um, coffee pods. These were on offer. There's espresso, caramel, vanilla, and then like a ristretto strong one. Sorry about the washing machine. We also got some seasonings, which probably would have bumped it up more than I thought. To be fair, um, we just needed to pop, um, top up some. So we got paprika and onion, uh, garlic salt, rosemary, and then this roasted garlic and salt one. I really like this brand. And then we got baby corn, red cabbage, green beans, and an onion. And then we got some milk some olive oil, some red potatoes, some cider vinegar for the cabbage, and then I got some elderflower, some light, um, lightly sparkling strawberry and raspberry presse, and then we got a lamb joint for dinner. So we're gonna, I'm gonna cook dinner, I'm just gonna get it started and then I'll check in, just because the washing machine's on and we're just sorting bits out. But, Good morning. I thought I would come and tie up and finish the vloggy. It's Monday morning and I have had a nice morning of just sorting my stuff out. I've also finished Akatar, which mixed emotions. Not sure if I'm ready to fully disclose how the girly feels <laughs> because I've loved that book. Like I feel like that's the first book. I've ever really really fell in love with apart from a book I read when I was younger and we read it at school called Street Child I don't know if anyone ever read that or it's just like you know it was just to our school but I don't know why but that book really touched me and like has stuck with me for years like I like still you know like books that you like come like, what was their name again like I remember his name Jim and like I don't know it's really weird but I loved that so much um so yes, so I finished Akatar, I won't ruin it, but it ended nicely, which I'm surprised but happy about, and I, I didn't like, there was a little message in it, and it was like, I'm too emotional to start getting deep, and if you don't care, or like, just think of the message behind this, but it was like, for all the nesters out there, just carry on climbing that mountain, and it was like, no matter what, like, you have been through what you have done as long as you f like forgive yourself and like you have put the actions in to change the person like you are becoming the person you want and feel you need to be you know as long as it's good intentions and things like you do deserve love and like you do that you are loved and like the, if you don't feel it there's someone out there that does love you so yeah it, if you go behind all the meaning of the book that's what I've personally took from it so all your book recommendations would be highly highly appreciated i think i kind of want to stand the fantasy x romance vibe sarah joe mass i think i'm now obsessed with her so they're my current feelings towards the book and if you haven't read a court of fauna rosie series i highly recommend like, i've never read a fancy book i've never cared to read a fancy book i've always wanted to get into reading but i'm never i've never like like read a book enough like I remember being I started reading It Ends With Us when I was in Yorkshire two years ago and I was obsessed with it like I really liked it have I picked it up again no but like, when you find a book like it just gets you and like you're completely like do you know what I mean you're completely obsessed with it um so yeah honestly I loved it so so much and I really 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 recommend um but I thought I would end off the vlog I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday I was I did not vlog apart from the one clip honestly it was just a bit of a rush I like did dinner and like the day just ran away with me to be honest with you but I kind of feel like that's nice for a Sunday um so I, I'm you know I'm happy with the way the Sunday went um, I feel like it was a good Sunday and it went quickly and I don't know it was like a wholesome Sunday I was in bed by 5pm and it was brilliant vibes we also finished watching the syndicate last night and if you've watched the syndicate let me know it 
I feel like I was watching a childhood drama, but the plot was actually like I liked the plot and the storyline, but the actual acting probably wasn't the best. I felt like I was watching something like <laughs> from when I was younger. It's quite cringy. Um, but yeah, I am grateful for the week. I hope you guys have had a good week, and I love you guys very much. Um, remember to be grateful. Remember I love you so much, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.